So I found a brand new way to recover damaged Premiere profiles that I haven't seen anyone else talk about. When this happens, the new 2025 Premiere Pro will generate two additional files next to your project. So what you want to do is add a Premiere Pro file extension to the larger one. As you can see, this one takes up more space. So I'll just add a .prproj extension and click enter. And the icon will change to the Premiere Pro logo when you do this. So now this will be your new project file. File extensions have to be enabled for this to work. So if instead of this, you're seeing this, just go to view and enable file name extensions. And now you'll be able to open your new project file. I'm not sure why and how Premiere does this, but somehow it works. At least it did for me. If it doesn't, you can still use the old method of just going to the autosave folder and opening up the latest autosave project. I have a more detailed tutorial about this right here. But basically, you'll be working from an older project file, so it's not perfect, but still better than losing all of your progress. So I hope at least one of these methods worked, and I'll see you in this video right here.